while since I've been in this part of Thulva. Nothing left standing. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my channel. I'm Obscure and Joe PT. And for today, what I have here is Styx Shards of Darkness. This game was developed by Cyanide and it's using Dream Engine 4. Cyanide is well known for games um, like Pro Cycling Manager or Bloodbone. We already had a video of Bloodborne in here. And we have a video. We had a video of the first Styx and now we have the video for the Styx Shards of darkness. So Styx is essentially a stealth game that you have a goblin, it reminds me of Thief but in a not so realistic way. As you can see I'm playing at 720p and I try to play to use borderless in order to make some sort of resolution scaling to use lower resolutions than 720p but unsuccessfully if we use borderless it's just going to force you to use the native resolution of your screen so the lower resolution that I gone that I've gone was to 720p because 800 per 600 was a little bit bad and I tried to avoid it the most but yet the game on 720p drops sometimes from the 30s and sometimes even from the 25 but since this is a stealth game and you don't really need to, to point a gun at someone it actually feels playable not as perfect as you would expect but it's nice and the average is above the 30s but I'm not really sure how it's going to perform in later levels in this game Although, again, let's talk a little bit more about Styx. Uh, I'm not too much of a review website, but I have saw some videos and I noticed that I had some more information than on the desktop video. It seems that this game not only is a stealth game, but it has, it has a nice... Um, uh, it features a nice skill tree and you have a lot of powers that you can use and I know that this uh, game has some small mini open worlds where you can have tons of objectives and stuff and you can craft items and all a lot of stuff that I'm not going to do in here since I'm just benchmarking but if you search a little on the YouTube you're going to find a lot of information about this game that I didn't even imagine that this game had because well I'm just benchmarking the game but I was impressed I, I, I felt that this game by the review that I saw it was very complete, but felt short by some bugs that might be fixed later. Although, again, this is running uh, quite nicely on the laptop. Again, it would be nice to play always at above uh, 30 FPS's. But uh, it's not that bad looking if you keep the textures on high, or let's assume that the worst that you can go is average. Because the textures on low are really horrible. But if you can imagine to put... If you can manage to put the textures on average, which is the median of this game, or on eye, it's fine. And in fact, texture quality is those settings that doesn't really penalize the performance. It's just use the VRAM that you have. We have 2 gigabytes of this graphic card, so you can use the textures on eye, but all the rest just keep it on medium, minimum because of the performance. So use the textures on eye, drop everything to the low drop the game resolution to 720p and there you go you can play sticks with 30 fps's with a couple of drops uh, to lower of 30s in more demanding areas and the worst case scenario it's going to drop from 25 obviously if you are looking to ms afterburner the green text it's going to look a little bit more lower than the usual since the video recorder takes impact on the frame rate. But if you want to check the frame rate without recording, just check on the description of the video or wait until the, fi the, the end of the video, okay? Anyway, you have a timestamp there on the description. So, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Ah, oh, I missed. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
waiting for Tarzan yell? Forget about it. Ah, Carnage has begun training recruits. Oh, this is gonna be short and sweet. How long will two against one take him? for attacking, reaping, neutralizing, and annihilating all goblins to be eradicated. C-A-R-N-A-G-E. <sighs> Crappy name. They must have been paying the guy who wrote it by the letter. They're really scraping the barrel if they're recruiting here in Shitville Thoban. Given the scum that live around here, better tear down these posters. Otherwise, this little toilet of paradise will turn into a real stinking hell. Gear on this bench looks usable, with a few raw materials. We can put together some nasty surprises. You see what we found during the last raid? Yeah, nice one. I was sure it'd disappear since the fall of Akinash. Me too. We'll make a ton of money out of it. I hope you've stashed it somewhere safe. Of course. What do you take me for? I hid it in the old secret room. Oh. The one behind the bookcase. Shh. Why not just shout it from the rooftops? sauce is not bad. For me, at least. It's my lucky day. The casket distribution list. <laughs> Good luck to the fool. Let's see if there's something useful around here. Bunker. I'm 
anywhere. This can't be possible. Where did he go? Let's try to stay on the world a little more station. discreet, huh? It's not gonna gain you an achievement, right? Hello boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of this video. So as you can see by looking to the benchmark that I made with the game on the low settings and the textures on I, I tried with uh, native resolution which is 768p and 720p and as you can see there is a difference of 4 FPS on the average, is not that much but since the game on 768p spends most of its time lower than 30 fps i think that maybe dropping a little bit the resolution would help a little with the stability of the game okay so as you can see judging by the um, consistency of the frame rate if you use the native resolution seven uh, 65 percent of the frame rate will be the lower than 30 fps and 720p was close to 400% so it's a little bit more stable but it's not perfect which is well a kind of disappointment but I was expecting much worse since this, this game is using a Dream Engine 4 so looking to the 25 FPS as consistency if you use 720p on this area only 5% of the frames was lower than 25 FPS so I think if you play with a gamepad or some sort of um, gamepad that you're going to use or if you play carefully or slow with the mouse and keyboard I think you will be fine with no problem playing this game okay so my recommended settings is to play with the low text um, low settings with the textures on IS 720p the game uses 1.4 gigabytes of VRAM it uses 3.6 gigabytes of RAM so I think if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM you will be okay with this game CPU usage was fine like is usual in this laptop and GPU usage was the bottleneck element in here like almost always okay so that's how i want to talk about sticks shards of darkness hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon goodbye